read music before I could read words, which is the case for a lot of us. Um, and piano has just always been a, a very important part of my life. My parents were really good in that they never emphasized practicing for the sake of practice. They always emphasized enjoying music and enjoying the piano. Um, so I'm very lucky in that I've always had a love affair with the piano um, in a very good way and not in, as an obligation. And um, that followed me through college. I was a piano performance major, not because I planned on being the executive director of Portland Piano, but because I really love the piano and, and wanted that as a, a very important part of my college career. And then the piano took me to Vienna where I was able to see a lot of piano recitals. Um, and solo repertoire is something that you, as a pianist, grow up playing, but it's so rare to hear solo repertoire and performance. Usually you hear concerti, so you hear um, a pianist with an orchestra. And um, in Europe, piano recitals are much more broadly heard than they are in the States. And so we're so lucky in, in Portland to have the recital series um, that brings pianists to Portland in these solo, these solo venues. Um, and I, I started attending Portland piano recitals when I was probably in high school um, and seeing some of the world's best pianists just right here in Portland. The most amazing thing to see is when a pianist just gets out of the way of the instrument and just lets the instrument sing to the audience. Um, and, and the biggest pianist in the world, I'm such a pianist groupie, you know, I, I see pianists and it's, you know, bigger than the Beatles for me. So to be in a room with just 800 other people and Garrett Olson is pretty, pretty spectacular. And now I get to bring him water backstage, so that's pretty cool too.